Hey there, it's Laurel Beard, and I have jumped on the alcohol inks bandwagon. Got some inks last week and started playing around, so today I have a video uh, showing some easy alcohol techniques, and I made all of these backgrounds in the video today. I'm gonna actually create a series, and we will dive more into in-depth techniques using alcohol inks, but let's start with the basics today. So a couple of things when working with alcohol inks, work in a ventilated area, open some windows, turn on the fans, this is key. And also I would recommend wearing latex gloves. Now the paper that I'm working with is Jupo paper uh, that the foiled fox sent to me to use and I'm very grateful for this. I also had some Ranger glossy cardstock and I tried alcohol inks with that but Jupo really gives you some great, great results. Comes in a white and also a translucent. I'm using the white today. Before I get started, I'm gonna tape my uh, Upo paper down to a piece of board. This is so I can pick it up and move it around. And then a couple of other things that I set up was, this is some alcohol blending solution. I'll be using that a little bit later on in the video. I also use regular old rubbing alcohol. This is from Walmart, Target, the pharmacy, wherever you want. It's regular alcohol, and I also filled a mini mister with the alcohol. Now this is important. Do not spray the alcohol ink or blending solution as it contains a solvent which is resin and that is flammable. Don't spray it. Now these are things that I used that I already had at home. This is just a little syringe I got from the pharmacy. Uh, this is a little dropper. This is something that I used with my essential oils, but any kind of dropper, a little medicine dropper, something like that would work. I have a regular drinking straw. And of course I have my mister filled with regular alcohol, isopropyl alcohol. I got a little bowl there. I'm going to fill it up uh, with that alcohol there and then we'll be able to go ahead and get started. So now that all that boring prep work is out of the way, let's go ahead and get started. I'm using alcohol inks from Ranger and Jacquard Pinata Ink. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and this is my very first attempt playing with alcohol inks. I took some alcohol with the brush and that brush is dedicated just to the alcohol. And I wiped my Upo paper with it and then I'm dropping in some color. This is uh, Baja Blue, I believe. And I'm going to take a syringe. Let's see how it works with the syringe here. And after I move it around a little bit with my brush here, again, that's just regular isopropyl alcohol. I'm gonna add in a couple little bit more colors. Again, all the exact colors that I'm using are gonna be listed below in the supply list. I'm blending it around a little bit, just kind of moving that color just a tad. Just dabbing and dropping, really no rhyme or reason. And then I'm gonna pull out my syringe here and I'm starting to just blow. I first pick up a little bit of alcohol and then it kind of splatters around a little bit, which really makes cool effects. It's messy, so it does splatter over your work surface, but it's um, you can clean that up with uh, alcohol. <laughs> Rubbing alcohol, hand sanitizer, wet wipe, something like that. So I'm using that syringe there just to kind of create that movement. Then I wanna show you how you can use your brush to create droplets here. So again, that's my little dedicated alcohol ink brush, just flipping, uh, picking up some alcohol and then just flicking on that alcohol with the brush, just like I do the water flicking technique here. And you really get some cool bubbles and really cool effects here. Or, hey, you could just dump your whole bowl onto your paper <laughs> and see what happens. And then that's why I work off of a board so I can pick it up and kind of move it around. And I just think that's really neat. And you can create really fun lines and things like that. If you find that there's some puddles that you don't like, you can just wipe it off with a paper towel or something and remove it out of the way. Now I'm going to use a heat gun. And it looks really cool, but I messed it up. But I'm gonna go ahead and leave it in the video so I can show you. You can use a heat gun on your Upo paper. You just can't leave it in the same place for very long at all. You have to constantly keep it moving. And my mistake here was I did constantly keep it moving, but I did use it for a really long time. You can see now that all the alcohol ink is dried. So I shouldn't have done that. I should have sort of stopped, but I didn't. And then I warped my Upo paper, as you can see right here. So, oh well, I will cut that apart and I will use the part that is not warped. All right, so let's go in and try another technique. And I'm gonna go back to the heat gun in a little bit. <laughs> Again, I've got my Upo paper. That's the only paper I'm working with this time. And I'm putting down some more alcohol inks and I'm gonna create some droplets. Again, with the paintbrush. I'm just picking colors that I personally like. There's really not a lot of rhyme or reason here. And again, that's why I work off a board so I can pick it up and move it around. 
So you can see as soon as that alcohol hits that alcohol ink on that Yupco paper, it immediately reacts. And I love all of the different looks it's, it's creating here. It's so pretty. And I'm going to take a bright paintbrush and kind of move it in and fill in some of the white spaces here. And just move it around and just have a lot of fun. But again, work in a well-ventilated area because this can get very stinky. Now it's time to add in some gold. Now this is not a mixative. This is part of that uh, pinata line here. It's this metallic gold. It is so pretty. And again, it's not a mixative. It's just a regular alcohol ink that has some metallic in it. And I'm just taking my alcohol and just moving it all around just to get that gold kind of spread out a little bit evenly all over the alcohol paper here. And then I'm doing some more flicks. I'm just playing around. And then I'm gonna set it to the side to dry. And when you're done, check this out. I mean, can you even? It is absolutely beautiful, and I love all the lines that that uh, alcohol ink created there. So now we're going to do a little straw blowing here. So again, Yupo paper working on my board. At this point, I stopped taping it down because it really didn't matter anyway. And I'm going in, adding some drops of this color. This is the purple color, and I'm just taking some alcohol ink and making a big hot mess. That is not pretty. Look how unpretty that is. <laughs> Not pretty at all, <laughs> yet I keep doing it. Now here's a regular straw and I'm just gonna start blowing all over the place. I think I get a little lightheaded here, so if I pass out, <laughs> oops. Um, but I love the look it gets from that straw blowing. It's just beautiful. Now this is a white alcohol ink. I'm gonna do the same thing and just move it around a little bit. It's absolutely beautiful. And really playing with alcohol inks is almost effortless. Um, it's just playing around, and here's the here's how it looks when it dries. Now, depending on how much ink you put down, I think I waited at least 30 minutes before I even went back and looked at it again. But just absolutely beautiful. Now, here is some black marbling. I was scared to do this because black, you know, it's kind of messy and ooh. But we're gonna give it a whirl here. So this is straight up black. I'm gonna use one. This is it, and I'm gonna try to create some marbling look with the black. So I'm going to use that mister that's sprayed, that's filled with isopropyl alcohol. That's all it's filled with. And I'm going to use that sprayer. I'm going to use the paintbrush to move some of the black around. And then I'm going to use that sprayer. And then I'm going to pick up my board and move it around. I'm going to dab off any areas that I don't like. It also leaves a little look behind when you use that paper towel. So I'm creating little specks almost, if you will. And I'm going to set that aside to dry and wait till you see this. Look at that. Look at that. I was scared to do black. Anytime I use black embossing powder or anything, it's all over the place. This is absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so now we're going to create a background using the dropper. So again, let's see what color have I got here. Yellow. Now you can see, see I'm getting in the groove. You can see I'm just kind of being a little bit more messy, not being as careful as I was before. And this is, again, a little dropper, and I'm just going right in, sucking up the alcohol and dropping it down and it immediately starts moving around. You can get droppers anywhere. They, they, the pharmacy probably would have a dropper, you know, a little syringe that you would give to babies. Um, but you can get it anywhere, but uh, it's so pretty. Now I'm gonna use my heat gun ah, ah, on this beautiful panel. Here's the key, it's super hot already and I'm moving it around, but I am not gonna dry that panel until it's completely dry. I am simply using my heat gun to create designs and movement and lines on that alcohol paper and then I'm gonna put the heat gun down. <laughs> so constantly keep it moving and don't use it too long on your Yupo paper. I just wanted to get this beautiful design that I'm getting from just blowing that all around. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry, it's still super wet, and then once I was done, check that out. Absolutely beautiful. Mm. You can do that with any colors you want. Very, very pretty. Also with alcohol pay, uh, paper, it's forgiving. If you don't like something, wipe it clean with some alcohol and start over. All right, so here's my alcohol dump. This is, this is pretty funny. This is pretty funny. Whatever. I'm adding a pink and I'm adding some white. And that's it. And then I'm going to, oh, I'm adding some gold. Excuse me, that wasn't it. I'm adding a little gold. Oh, this is one of my favorites. This is one of my favorites. Ah. I'm pouring some alcohol in the cap, and I'm simply dumping it. <laughs> so I call it the alcohol dump. Look at it. Look at uh, That's all I did. I mean, that's like just nothing. Took no time at all. No time at all. So pretty. I wanted to add a little bit more white 
because I kind of dumped some and moved too much of the white around. So I added a little bit more white there. I'm going to leave this alone and look how pretty this turns out. You've got reds, pinks, golds, whites, alcohol dump people. It's where it's at. <laughs> that gold is so sparkly. All right, now here's where I'm going to add a mixative. This is a mixative that was provided to me by the Foiled Fox. And mixatives... You gotta shake the bejeebies out of the little bottle. Hold on, I'll show it to you in just a minute. So here I'm going in with some green. What do we got here? Some yellow, or is that orange? Nope, that's orange. Could be yellow, I don't know. Um, just going in with some various colors, adding little drops here and there. I'm gonna use the blending solution because I was told that mixatives respond better with the blending solution than it does with the regular alcohol, probably because of the resin that's in it. So here I am adding the silver mixative here. It's um, thick to come out, and you have to shake it really good to get it all moving around. And then I'm going to take that blending solution and add little drops right where that mixative is. So it'll get everything moving around. I tried it with alcohol, and it just didn't move around very well. So uh, whoever told me that the uh, blending solution works great with mixatives, thank you! Because at first I wasn't a huge fan of the mixatives because it just kind of was clumpy, and it left just this big clump of yuckiness on my card. But... That was the key, that blending solution, because of the solvent that the blending solution contains. But remember, do not spray the blending solution and do not spray your alcohol inks. Don't do it. Don't do it. So you can see I'm sitting here playing around. That mixative is still in there. It's still hanging out. And uh, I'm just having a great time with this. I think it's so much fun. <laughs> I can't get enough of it. You can see some of the specks of that mi mixative over my bowl there. So with the mixatives, less is more. You want to shake and then put some on, but don't put too much on because as you can see, it overtakes your panel here. This is beautiful. Abs look at this. Absolutely beautiful. So all that silver sparkle, is that's from that mixative that I put down. The mixative covers the dye. So that's why it's kind of like less is more type thing. So think about that when you're using uh, your mixatives there. So that's it, all these backgrounds created today with the alcohol inks. Super easy techniques, basic beginner techniques. I'm looking forward to adding more videos to this series and we'll dive in and do some more uh, fun, more advanced techniques using the alcohol inks. Uh, over the next week or two, I'll be sharing cards that I made with these backgrounds. So be sure to follow my blog at laurelbeard.org and I will... See you next time. Be sure if you're not a subscriber of my YouTube channel to subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.